All right, this is a quick video to take a look at whether or not prime towers actually matter. Um, as a follow-up to the flushing volumes video I did earlier, um, this is a 0 0.25 flushing volumes, and you can see that the white um, is actually pretty muddy. The red and the black alternate um, through the, the cone here. That's definitely not a good result there at 0.25. So that was 0.25 with a full prime tower. And then we move on to a 0.5 with a full prime tower. So now the white actually looks very good in this one. And I actually had a very strange error where the red wouldn't pull through the AMS because um, it's starting to be at the end of the spool and there's not enough weight to keep the spool in place. So it's actually pulling it up and, and jerking it and getting jammed. And in one of the, the jams, when I unjammed it, I actually got these red rings in the white layer, which is really strange. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've ever seen a, an error like that yourself. But the white looks really good. Black and red look really good. So we started off with 0.5 and a full prime tower. And then we move down to 15 as the size, so 15 millimeters across and 15 cubic millimeters. Um, so you look at this size comparison, substantially smaller, so basically a third, because this is 45 and this is 15. And you start to see some blobs of black through the white and just not not perfect so you already see blobs when you start to make a smaller prime tower and here you have a print with no prime tower at all and it's even worse so you have these little this red smudge and the, the black through here and the stringy bit that stayed on it's easy to pick off, but uh, I kept it for the video. There you go. Um, prime towers do make a difference. Um, even when you go to like a third of the size of the, the standard uh, prime tower. And let me know in the comments if you've ever seen a error like this from your AMS system. And I'll see you in the next one.